What do you think men should be looking at as what a high value woman is? I think um, what they classify as a high value woman is actually truly a narcissistic woman. And what they should be looking at is a woman who has intrinsic rather than extrinsic values. Wow. And what I mean by that is when you select a woman who enjo enjoys uh, explosive kind of attention from men, you're selecting a woman who will never be satisfied with you. Oh, man. <laughs> Unfortunately. Wow. And you're selecting a woman who relies on external validation for self-esteem. And that will never go in that woman. What you really should be looking at is a woman who has intrinsic values. And now these are things like how connected I am to my friends and family. How much do I serve my community? How much can I look after you and your well-being? How much self-esteem do I derive from having a purpose and loving those around me? Unfortunately, they look at what is packaged the best way. And that woman is, uh, unfortunately, she's unattainable because she's emotionally broken. To require that much validation can't be healthy. And I say this as a woman who's online myself, but no, I, and people could very much argue the same for me. But one thing I noticed is, if I look at my DMs, they're endless and I don't show skin, I don't show body, it's not that kind of content. So I think, and it annoys me, I'll see it and I'll just quickly, you know, this is nonsense. Um, so imagine being a woman who only per posts ex things that cre uh, create external validation. At least I'll get a few messages saying, I love your content, blah, blah. But you're just posting your body. You're just getting, I love your tits. I love your boobs. I love this is a woman who wants that. Why would you, why on earth would you think that woman is now going to be able to serve you and your family and your children in a, a wholesome manner? Don't, she's not equipped for it. But again, I'm assuming that people might be commenting or saying, well, this is, you know, don't, don't diminish my self-expression. Uh -huh. This makes me feel great. I can do what I want. I want to express myself. I want to post bikini photos all day long. Absolutely. So I'm allowed to do whatever I want yeah. and I like it. I like expressing myself. I'm a, you know, so I am. Uh -huh. Don't tell me what to do. All these different things. So. You know, what do you say express to someone that might be way, feeling that way? Express a way, but don't expect that woman to be wholesome. She can express however she wants. I could sit there and express myself through nudes and bikini pictures, etc. But then don't put wholesome traditional values, assi don't assign them to me because I'm not signing them to myself. So if she's expressing her that herself that way, you as a man, how dare you expect her to have these complete opposite values, right. yeah? So just accept her for who she is. She's not wrong. I'm not actually saying she's wrong, by the way. I actually don't think there's anything wrong in that, but have a realistic expectation of what that woman's going to bring to your life. In terms of a relationship. In terms of a relationship, yeah. Right. She, she's somebody who craves knowing that she's still sexually attractive to other men because the, that's what the audience will be. Women don't follow women who just post stuff like that. So that's what um, her audience is, it's that woman. So why would you try and create, like, why would you force her, why would you try and get her to contort into your values and your what you want out of her? She's going to be more promiscuous, she's going to be more unfaithful, but that's okay. But, so, but the problem is you either accept her for who she is or you go somewhere else, but don't expect that woman to have the values that you yeah, want them yeah. to have. You've been coaching uh, people for a while now. Yeah. And you said there are what? What are the main themes you see that people struggle with the most in your your one on one or online coaching? I would find that the main thing for men is the addiction to pornography. Yeah. How many men are addicted to pornography today? I I would say that unfortunately in the younger generation, here's the problem with the, the addiction to pornography. When I have a man on the phone to me and he's got, and this is irrelevant whether he's handsome, not handsome, whatever, in shape, not shape. But he's having struggles with women. He's having some problem with women. They're either transactional, using him, cheating on him, whatever it is. I don't ask any question other than, are you addicted to pornography? That's the first question. They'll come to me on the phone and say, "This my, uh, my girlfriend's doing this. I don't know how to get over. First question I ask is, are you addicted to pornography? Because there's a masochism in there, in there that they don't realize. And they'll say, no, 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 I'm not addicted to pornography. I watch it maybe twice a week, three times a week, whatever. But I don't, to, I don't know if that's healthy. I don't think there's any level that's healthy. And what pornography does, unfortunately, what pornography does to men is it allows them intense gratification without the fear of rejection. And what men need is reje a rejection in order to build their bravery and redirect them. If I'm really overweight or if I'm not making a lot of money, I'm living in my mom's basement and I go out into the dating world, I realize women don't find that attractive, so I redirect myself. I am. You have to improve. You have to overcome. You have to let go. You have to... And learn from the feedback. 
and have courage to take consistent action and build self-control. Exactly. But what pornography allows me to do is maintain that state whilst getting the gratification I want. And the other thing it does to men is it blurs their true value. So they will see these beautiful women online go into the real world and say if he's a four out of 10, he should be aiming for a four out of 10 woman. But he'll think, I, I, I don't want that girl. I'm not attracted to this girl. And they'll be aiming for the 12 out of 10s and they can only access them through escorts or through, uh, I mean, in America, they call it passport bros. Have you heard of that concept? Passport what? Where they go to like maybe the Philippines or they go to other countries uh -huh. and marry women and, you know, oh, wow. yeah, it's kind of like a nine to date. Then they try and do it that way instead wow. to access those type of women because they've been so addicted to pornography. They've got a skewed perception of what their true value is and what their true match is.